What's up, my people? My name is Olivia, also known as Jetlag Live, and I'm currently converting this tiny home on wheels. All right, guys, in the adventure that is self converting a cargo van to a literal tiny home on wheels, um, you're probably wondering what we're doing about electricity um, and we are in fact going to have um, a little bit of juice giving us power to our ceiling fan and our LED lights that we've got look it's like I hear two in the front and two in the back um, yes yeah, so we picked up these little 12 volt LED lights on Amazon I think they're like what like 12 bucks, 12 bucks yeah 12 bucks um, for a pack of four super easy to install um, they were uh, pre-wired and I drilled those holes I'm sure you guys saw in the ceiling installation vlog um, we pre-wired those Seth's gonna give us a little bit of a, a lesson um, but what I wanted to stress here is we're doing something different right super exciting um, sorry if I'm looking up it's cuz I mean look at them look at that hair cute okay sorry um, so I wanted to stress, we're not doing the regular run of the mill, um, battery housing, uh, inverter, sine wave, like we're not doing that <laughs> fuse box. Like none of that's going to be done in this van. We're keeping it simple because we're not electrician, <laughs> electricians, we're not electricians. So we're keeping it simple and we're going to power what we only need. That is where this guy comes in handy. So if you don't know what a Jackery is, I'm gonna insert a clip here shortly, doing an unboxing and pretty much talking a little bit about it. But this is going to be the, this is the power source of the van. All right, so let me insert that clip now and show you guys a little bit what we're dealing with. Alrighty guys, so we got in our Jackery. This is going to be our portable generator um, that will power the fan and will power the lights in the van. Super, super excited because not only did we just get this, but one minute, this is gigantic. We also got these, which are the solar panels to power this puppy. So we've got renewable energy um, to power the van, which to me is just so exciting. To, I just think that is so awesome um, that we were able to use this nice and easily, like plug into the cigarette light or car charger in here and power this from this, from the sun. And I mean, we live in Florida, the sunshine state, this is gonna be, it's gonna be perfect. I'm so excited. I'm gonna open this up papers oh we got papers I will be reading tonight and oh my god look how cute oh it's such a baby oh my god this is so perfect it is perfect it's got wall unit charger that would be good for Apple laptop, two USB, phone, phone, and a, oh, that must be an input to charge. And then it's got, bam, a 12 volt charger, which we already ordered on Amazon, a positive and negative wire feeding to a car charger, which we will then wire the lights to one of those plugs. And then we bought a second one of the same type of car chargers the same type of wiring. You kind of DIY your own 12 volts lights slash fan, 12 volt thing to a car charger. And it plugs right in here, which is also a 12 volt. Oh, oh my God, they're huge. Oh, wow. I am so excited. Renewable energy. I just can't get over that. Like, it's so awesome from the sun. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so it should open up. And now this is a very, oh, it's magnetic. You see that? They clip. 
Oh, so sick. Didn't know that. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's got that really strong new plastic smell. Not vibing with that. But wow. Look at it. Solar Saga 60. Okay, alliteration, you better work. Output 68 watts, 22 volts. And when you, if you are deciding to, like if you want one of these, make sure that it's compatible with the Jackery Explorer that you're looking at. Um, so the solar panels will say if it's compatible with the 240, the one, I think it was like 1000 um, or like 440 or something. Um, you gotta make sure that those are compatible with that. So holy smokes, I, I can, I'm so glad that I got this in for this vlog. We can maybe test the fan tomorrow and the lights. Yes, can you tell us, just in a general, like explain it to me, cause I don't know anything. Um, explain what you did to wire the lights and get them all four connected together. So we just ran, I think this is 16 gauge wire. Um, just all the way around to these four holes. And I think it's called a parallel. So I think it's a parallel circuit. Yeah, so if I literally just said I don't know anything, but I know that. <laughs> so the lights came pre-wired, so there's a positive and a negative that came out of the wires, and then you basically just run this through one of these holes. What is that? I don't know what this is called. Um, you open it up. It's I really can probably hard find to open. a link below. So you put this in one side, and then the other hot wire coming out of the lights and then basically you just close it and then it connects them both so that you can have one giant loop one right yes yeah, so you don't have to have it would be what eight wires to it would be chaos yeah. it would so, be chaos so basically this wire that you're seeing connects in this pattern it goes all the way over to these lights and over to this light and it ends there right yeah. So you're probably wondering how the hell do you go from getting wires into this power unit into the Jackery? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Check this out. An easy find on Amazon will help you with that solution. Check it out. All right, explain it to us, bud. So these are just part of like a wiring kit. They're just temporary. You just clamp them on. Um, and then this is just your average like cigarette lighter. Car charger, Car charger. thing. Um, right. And it came with those wires. And then we'll just plug them in and turn it on. And look at that, guys. Look at those puppies. They're so bright. I know it's like broad daylight right now, so you can't really tell, but they powered our floor build at night. Yeah. Have <laughs> you noticed? But it's kind of a kick ass floor. Yeah. <laughs> um, which we, we finished at night thanks to the lights. We are going to put um, fuses onto this. To protect. Just to protect, just in case anything goes wrong, but they haven't come in yet, so that's why we're doing temporary, just for the vlog. So those clampy things are not going to be there? No. Okay. No, this okay. will all come down into... News to me. <laughs> ...an inline fuse, um, and then to this. All right, so that is pretty much the setup. This Actually, right here... Wait, oh, can those not touch? Am I no. getting electrocuted? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I do that? Did you touch them together? I did. I hope you didn't fry the wires. I don't like it. <gasps> um, oh, thank God. Okay. Don't do that. I literally, <laughs> I literally thought I just ruined it in the middle of the video. Um, okay, so that is the system we have going on with the lights. I'm going to show y'all the fan, which is a lifesaver. It's like currently 88 out hot as hell, but we use the same cigarette style lighter, car charger unit with the, the um, red and black wires coming out of it. We It came in a pack of two on Amazon, so this will be the alternate. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to do the fan and the lights at the same time, but we will. Yeah, you can just buy a, um, an adapter that you pull, lets you plug two of those in Oh, and I, oh, ladies and gentlemen, the electrician of the build. I'm <laughs> Yeah, no. Tell them. You want to tell them how you know this stuff? Because I had a boat that <laughs> I probably shouldn't have bought and ended up paying for it a few times over. Oh and no! Rewired everything a few times. Um. Also, another fun fact: that boat 
that he was fixing brought him into the store that I worked at and then that's how we reconnected and and that's how we got together. I guess it all worked out, huh? It all worked out in the end. Um, and now we're building this freaking van. So you want to wire the fan and show them? Yeah. Awesome. Would you like to give us a breakdown of the fan or is it pretty self-explanatory? The fan is really basic. It's just a positive and a negative that um, I just had to add more wires because it wasn't long enough. Mm -hmm. So it's really simple. Just two wires. Two wires and the fan came with like two short wires. We just kind of extended them and are going to plug them into the, the jackery. All right, here we go. Woo! Put it on the fan. It's got exhaust and then your regular fan. So it does both. So it sucks air out and then it will also push cool air in. Sweet. It's kind of vibes too because, oh, it's so nice, so nice. Thanks to Boss Man over here, we were able to have a very simple, but I think it's going to be a badass electrical setup. Don't you think? I mean, it's yeah. going to be the bare, ne bare necessities. We've got the renewable energy with the solar panels, mm -hmm. which is so perfect yeah. for Florida summer. Um, and I just, I am really, really proud of you. Thanks. I'm You're proud welcome. of you. You did a great job with the ceiling and hooking up was easy. We did. We did a good job. I think overall we've been crushing it. Yeah, me too. Really it's excited. I hope you guys think that too. If you do, in fact, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you have any questions about electrical setups in this kind of set like style, please comment below because we tried watching how many different electrical setup videos? Like too many and we couldn't get a set like a simple how to wire the fan yeah nobody had just the simple stuff they all wanted to run it into that fuse boxes inverter and, and the like and battery stuff and yeah it's we didn't um, want to take it that far so and actually i will show them that thing hold on and seth did want to mention we i just ran and got this from the garage we're going to install one of these fuses just as an extra layer of protection yeah. without having a fuse block that right. whole yeah, just big two, old block yeah. thing. So the so thing, we have one for the lights and then one for the fan, just in case anything goes wrong. Just a, as a safeguard, and I don't really think we need to overcomplicate it. You know, I think this is going to be perfect yeah. for us. And if anything, it'll be a perfect starter stealth camper van, which is super exciting. Yeah. Um, but guys, I'm really excited about this Jackery. <laughs> it's sick. I'm a fan girl. <laughs> like I'm, I go hard for Jackery now because it's just so sick. Um, but if you like this video, like I said, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe for all of our van build videos and soon to be adventures. I mean, come on, yeah, almost done. We're wrapping it up. We're in the home stretch. Yep. We really are. All we've got big projects left: window tinting. Then we can go ahead with the walls, and then where the camera is now is going to be a storage unit. Yep, and we're ready to go. It, which is, by the way, where our our housing for the setup is going to be. It's going to be in like a little built-in shelf, nice and secure. Um, but thank you guys for being here. Um, as always, if you want to take it a step further and support our build, you can do so on patreon.com slash jetlaglive. We love that. We love the fans on there. We love the family. Um, thank you for being here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.